morning y'all it is story time it is the next day after yesterday's video and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of what's going on here so we're gonna be showing up here to tow a truck and trailer combo it is an oversized load the oversized load weighs somewhere in the hundred plus thousand uh, range in terms of weight uh, a few days ago my dad uh, came out and did a winch out on the guy because he uh, hit a curb with the uh, with the trailer with the low the low bed and it uh, blew out the clutch apparently so he said he'd call back if he needed a tow so that's where we're at now so I'm coming back to uh, tow it now um, legally we're not allowed to take the whole load since it's an oversized load and it's reducible so we're gonna take it to a safe spot which we are which we can do so we're gonna take the whole load to my yard and store the trailer and then take the tractor to Fontana so that's what we're gonna do um, if it's up in the 105 110,000 range we'll be pushing every bit of uh, 150 total so that'll be my heaviest load to date some of you guys have uh, asked me that before what's your heaviest tow so this will uh, take the take the wind so we'll go ahead and ask the drivers to, uh, to just confirm everything but I can see it up here it's an excavator I believe it's excavator with a three axle trailer and a four axle uh, tractor but we'll see Toad? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Just give me a, uh, probably 25 30 minutes here. I'm not going to Walmart anyway. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Uh, just leave me the keys. Alright. How heavy are you total grossing out? Uh, 105. 105,000? Yeah. Sweet. Alright, cool. turning the truck off. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's the best way to do it. Probably go this way, huh? Go around. To get into Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just crossed the street. All right. All right, yeah, like 25 minutes, I'll be ready. Just again, bring it to the left. I want to make sure I'm pretty dang center with the load like this. Good size load here. Let's so make sure we're doing it right. Just going to come to the left a little bit. better more centered now uh, let me go ahead and pop the hood here so we can have a little bit easier access so we're gonna have to deal with over width it looks like here in a second once I start getting under there. Alright, we're good there. In terms of uh, lining it up, check out this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just make sure we're on over here. Yes sir. Yes we are. Not getting into the bumper at all. Lifter, oh yeah, struggle it up. Yeehaw! All right, cool. We are hooked. Let's go and see if there's an air hook up here. Oh yeah, sweet. I'm liking it so far. Hopefully we don't run into any issues yet. Knock on some wood. We do have an air hook up though. That's a good sign. So we'll use our uh, Peterbilt Packar fitting, uh, and then thinking we'll probably do double double hose here. So we'll go boom. Um, actually, this might be able to make might be able to make it. Let's see how far we gotta go. So, go like this, lock it on, it's straight out of the compressor. Make sure it locks. Woo, that's hot. Go and squeeze in here. There we go. Now it's locked. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll leave it right here for, for now. Um, let's go and close it up. That's what I wanted to see. Nice big gap for our, our hose here. much out of it as we can. Okay. 
That's good right there. Perfect. Hear the air going into the tanks. Good sign. Let's go ahead and look at brakes and drive shaft. Okay. He disconnected everything. So we'll have to reconnect his red. And then I'll put my own blue on. Wouldn't even think about moving something like this without brakes, so definitely going to be putting brakes on. Um, this looks like it's red. Alright, that's good there. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the cables here. That should be good like that. Alright. Go ahead and hop in and uh, make sure she's in neutral. Okay, neutral. Put the foot on the brake. Release it. Feel all that weight transferring. Rear up a little bit. All right, she's ours. Making sure air suspension and all that stuff comes up. These are still pretty low. Make sure the trailer's last too, which it looks to be. Don't want to take any chances with this big boy. All right, let's see if she'll roll to us. Yeah, she's coming. You can feel it though. A little bit of a, takes a lot more to get it going. That's good there. Let's go ahead and get some coveralls on since we're going to start getting a little dirtier. Hop over here. Let's go and take a look at our drive shaft here. Probably half inch. Peterbilt, Kenworth, typically half. American truck. But we'll see. Sometimes it changes, just depends on the drive line that's in it. Uh, I dread putting these things on, but it keeps me clean, so just have to drink a bunch of water. I have a pair of gloves right here, so I'll use those so I don't have to climb over. Alright, let's uh, go and see our uh, driveline situation here. Trick. Sure, we got free play here. Which we do. Oh no. Dose. 
strap. This. Quattro. And a strap. Gonna throw those in a baggie here in a second. this back, grab a pry bar, pop that free, ah, I'm out of bags, that's unfortunate, okay. I'll go back to Old Faithful here. Stick them in the driver in the seat here. Looks like we need a hammer. Disc brake? I don't really know. I haven't seen those. And these uh, caps have cl a clip on them, so I'm just gonna leave it there. like so and then I just saw this bungee so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it since it doesn't look like it's been used being used for anything currently just a extra safety protection all right drive lines out gotta do chains and brakes We're gonna have to figure out some way to 
incorporate it into this loom here. put a loop in it like this so it doesn't so it can't uh, back out All right, that should be good into that. Over the tire. Come up through here. Your um, your airlines were disconnected, so I reconnect them. Is that how you usually have them like that, hanging yeah. down there? Okay. I usually put them inside that thing, but it's, I guess it's okay as long as it's not dragging on the ground. It's fine. Right. Okay. Need your lights. Go for it, sit in the AC, crank it up. Right. Make sure we go in between the tie rod and the axle. Over the leaf spring. Down to here.
tow, I'm gonna leave all the beacons on. We're long, wide, overweight, so. good to me. chain there. Do our last safety chain, and we're out of here. Take this off. And I'm gonna put you guys up on the top again. I think that'll prove to be a pretty cool camera angle. Alright guys, I'll see you at the yard when we drop the trailer.
didn't take everything off. And we'll, I'll just take it off when we get to Fontana. Yeah, I'll do it. Do these drag behind like that? Yeah. Do you need me to push back a little bit? Or yeah, set the brake? Yeah. Okay. Does the red need to be set or anything? No? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and leave the yellow in, okay. and I'll push it back a little bit. Try that. Gave it a little nudge. Sometimes you have to up. Let me uh, let it down. Still nothing? Any tricks up your sleeve? <laughs> just make sure it's level. Alright, your front tires are on the ground right there. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, I'll take it off once I uh, once we get to Fontana. So oh, that'll be fun. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. All right. Can I uh, lift it up and still pull out from under as long as that pin's pulled now? Yeah, as long as the pin's pulled, you go ahead and drive. Okay. I just I'm gonna lift it back yeah, up. Just don't or anything above okay. Okay, now I gotta drive. Let me just grab that uh, light bar off the back okay. of your trailer. You want a water or anything before we go? Yeah, use the restroom, yeah. anything like that? No, I don't need to use the restroom, but water. Okay, I'll get you a uh, bottle of water. Go fill up mine too. How far is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, about 93 miles. Not easy without the trail. Oh yeah, well, I'll be, uh, we'll be able to move a little faster. Leveling out. Oh, this thing doesn't have a uh, an axle back here. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's the reason. Okay, uh, that makes sense. 
Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, you definitely you definitely want that. Yeah. Oh well. Just get it specked out and you'll be fine.